off the time <coughs> for it, 19 all. I think I better wear my glasses. <laughs> So after 39 racks, where there's only one rack separating these two players. With this kind of a long uh, match, Mark, when does mental fatigue or physical fatigue set in? I think it's just now starting to get there. We've played uh, almost the better part of three hours mm -hmm. play, and uh, I think. Uh, It'll be interesting to see how these guys hold up to the last half of the match. Now, Everett, I know from uh, all the competition he does, is quite used to playing this long. And I know that Earl practices long enough and exercises well enough that physically he can sustain this. But I don't know that he's been as much uh, lengthy pressure as often. Now, interesting enough, he's never broken through the whole match from this side, to my recollection. And, uh, Trying a new tactic here. Hey, made a ball in the back, but uh, the ball that he was looking to make that time was the three ball. You got the six in. It, yeah, it happened to be the corner ball on that side of the rack that he broke from. break cue back to his playing cue. And he's confronted with a difficult situation here. He's going to like play a defensive shot. He's pushing out. Sort of a shot that does uh, Everton have here. Well, I think he's going to try to play safe by putting the cue ball behind the 4-7 right there in the corner pocket and making the one ball back down the table. He's executed, absolutely. Well, you said uh, earlier, you mentioned it time and again, Mike, that's his forte. And this is really a precarious position to try to make a legal contact on the one. I, I would not say the odds are good. I'm not saying he won't hit it because of uh, I haven't been too correct, but this is going to require some doing. He had the mass A out of there, and he made an excellent attempt at that. And you see the cue ball break after it got past the seven ball to, to create an angle enough that he could get to the one. The four had impeded him from taking a direct route uh, with just one cushion natural angle. Mm -hmm. It just wasn't there. Now, there's a fair chance we're going to see a 5-9 combination, uh, depend upon the angle he's able to achieve on the 4 here. If he just follows it straight ahead, I'm nearly certain that we'll see a 5-9 combination. Uh, Efren will play the 4 ball in the corner pocket, bring the cue ball around 3 cushions. And lining up his angle there, he put his finger by the rail where he wants it. The cue ball hit the rail, and then it will drop off that rail and come in toward the five ball. That's a characteristic of uh, Everton. So it's what marks the line that he wants to take. Yeah, he doesn't actually physically mark it. He just makes a mm -hmm. metal note by placing his finger there, so right. that uh, aids him in perfection. Tied up again at 20 all. Each player will try and get 15 more games to round up the first night of a three night affair in this nine ball challenge called Color of Money. $100,000 winner take all deal. Stripling there on the screens. Picture of the concentration as he waits his turn. Let's see if Efton Bata Reyes will have more luck this time with the break. 
he doesn't spend any time scrutinizing the rack, mm -hmm. uh, no. does he? No, he gets up here and goes right back to work and uh, content to just take it as it comes, I guess. Oh, he's hit the brake marvelously. And he really deserved better. Well, I guess he did drop a ball on the brake. Yes, he did. Went in so fast I didn't see it or hear it. I did or die, but he's up again. He's confronted with a pretty tricky situation. He has to go back across the table to the same side that the two balls now on. He played draw. He had a little better angle than I anticipated. If you notice, the players really try to avoid letting that cue ball get on the cushion. They have to elevate their cue, and that magnifies difficulty as well as control. You have to be pretty accurate on each shot. I think he's going to play the six ball in the side pocket and use a little backspin and just drift the two ball across the table. He's got it there. Well, he's not happy with that angle, I don't believe. It's not that he's not workable, but uh, you can see he's uh, a little bit off balance. Not going to be nearly as close to the eight as he would have liked. I don't think it's going to present a problem. I hit it very nicely. Dead center on the pocket. Back for the Reyes, takes the upper half. 21 to 20. As Mark Wilson uh, mentioned earlier, at a certain point early in the game, Earl Strickland uh, took a Six game lead, but uh, Efren Lay is now has the edge at 21 to 20. Yeah, while Efren doesn't possess the big break, he certainly mm -hmm. uh, possesses all the shot making tools necessary that if he does get a shot, uh, it's uh, usually a loss for your opponent, <laughs> his opponent. We're playing against uh, a player who breaks more powerfully, uh, intimidate uh, a player. Yeah, I think it does, Bobby. And you tend to try to over hit your break and mm -hmm. uh, compensate, and that generally doesn't result in good result. Uh, you know, good results from that. Takes you a little out of your game. And so the trick is to be able to recognize that you have to play your own game, and not try to get sucked in. Uh, absolutely. And believe it or not, even players of this immense skill sometimes do get a little bit sucked into that. Mm -hmm. uh, they've experienced it, but it's just hard. It's human nature. You want to kind of be as good as the other guy at everything, or maybe better. Well, I'm kind of happy with his push out because the seven and the eight lined up so that the they could be made. He was attempting to tie those up so that they weren't available to be made. Earl plays a straightaway defensive shot. And while well, Efren's got some negotiating to do, uh, he handles these situations better than anyone on the face of this planet. safety. Now he has the balls on opposite sides of the table and hidden. And uh, in safety play, you want to utilize the rails. When Anytime that the object ball is on a rail, you've actually cut the pockets in half uh, width-wise. Earl made a tremendous hit. And he may come out of it with a reward here if the six has impeded Efren's attack at the one. And we may see Efren uh, attempt a jump shot here. He must be able to go straight at it. No, he's going to have to curl the cue ball a little bit. Soft spin. Hit it pretty nicely, and 
He's left a uh, Earl, a cookie.